Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and this is Julie's Roots and Shoots. For those of you who might have wondered why I'm putting out some different uh, style videos other than gardening is because I have had to take a break from the gardening season this year and we just have a lot of unknowns in our life like we might be moving across the state soon um, just all this stuff uh, if you've been on my channel for a minute you know that we did move to a temporary house while I was still gardening then we moved back to our original spot with a new house on it and it's just like our life has just been a little bit crazy this last um, like six months or so so I started a few things which I brought you guys along with me which were some brassicas and some onions and in the midst of everything I just kind of put gardening on the back burner because we just we don't know what's going on in our lives right now so anyways that is the short and simple version of events as to why I have not been posting a lot of gardening videos this year and it honestly just like kind of breaks my heart because I gardening is my passion and not being able to do it has just been it's just been a downer the break has been nice I suppose but it just sucks that I could have like a big beautiful garden right now like getting ready to harvest a bunch of stuff and I just don't at the moment but anyways I thought I would bring you guys along with me to the garden today because I am starting to dismantle it. I am taking down the trellises and I've started kicking some boards out. I took down our old chicken coop that was in there and um, we're just kind of tidying everything up so that when we do end up moving, it's I don't have to sit here for my garden and like do all this work when we should be focusing on our house. So that's what I'm doing now. So s hopefully sometime this week the garden will be pretty much, I'm gonna say dismantled. I'm not gonna say we're like plowing it over and flattening it out. There's still stuff growing there, which we'll go take a look at here in a second. But I'm just sort of making it as easy of a transition as it could be for when we do have to pack up and move um but there's still i'm still allowing stuff to grow over there but it's i haven't started any seeds other than what i did this year i haven't bought any plants so basically what volunteers reseeds or just comes back as a perennial is what i'm gonna let grow so let's head over there and i'll show you guys what i've done so far and hopefully um, I'll break a sweat, bust my butt, and we will continue to start breaking down that garden. So let's go take a peek. What I've got going on here is I've got a reclaimed pile. So this is all of the fencing that I want to keep that I took down from the garden beds and the chicken coop. So I rolled this up nicely and I'm saving this stuff. This here is trash, so just weird scrap pieces and um, a little bit of sun rotted lumber that I didn't really want to mess around with so garbage old trough that we used to have the ducks in which by the way I also got rid of those ducks I rehomed them um, coming out this way so I started weeding this main walkway uh, it's been pretty easy because it rained here the last several days so pulling up these weeds hasn't been too bad of a chore but I do need to get a shovel or pitchfork and take some of these really big ones out. So real quick, what we've got growing in here right now that I'm going to let grow are tons of these onions which have their little flower heads starting to come up. So hopefully we'll have almost a whole line of onions on this side, excuse all the weeds in here. But these look like they're all going to pretty much flower down here. And then on this side, this is all garlic that I'll probably miss the window to harvest it when it's ready, but I mean, I'm just gonna let it grow and see if I can get any type of a harvest. So onions, garlic, there's tons of volunteer sunflowers again, which I might try to pull and transplant some of those. There's tons of sunflowers popping up everywhere. There's also the snapdragons came back. 
Uh, I've got a bunch of little pockets of these snapdragons of all different varieties. I haven't seen any little tomato seedlings pop up yet, but probably won't see those for maybe another week or so. A lot of weeding to do. I did notice that the lemon balm has reseeded in a bunch of places. So here's some lemon balm and the bed for it. The original bed is all the way over here. So this is the original lemon balm and it's reseeded in this garden bed right here and there's a bunch of little pockets and then all the way over there as well, which I thought was kind of funny. Also, this is the old poppy bed and there's more lemon balm, all of this. I did see, oh my puppy. I had a poppy flower right here, but looks like poppies reseeded, which is awesome. There's tons of little poppies coming up in this bed, which is pretty exciting. I've raised it. I had giant rattle and a scarlet, scarlet peony, I believe was in this bed, so we'll see if any more come up. Over this way, I was hoping I'd have some zinnias reseed here because I had El Dorado, but it looks like these are sunflowers. This is a weed, but it looks, I mean, I think this is a sunflower. I guess we'll see. So tons of weeds in the walkways, which I will be pulling out. This gold dang rhubarb, still here. This is the fourth year I've, well this year I just let it go, but I've been trying to take this giant rhubarb patch out for four years now and I always miss it. So, I always miss a little bit. We've got mums popping up, mums, uh, chrysanthemums that I got free from one of my co-workers, mint bed. Uh, I think I'm going to come out here and harvest some and start dehydrating it. For a little mint tea like because this spearmint which is all right here smells just wonderful it is pretty good that is some good mint so mint is coming back with a vengeance my super weedy flower bed there are volunteers in here looks like sunflowers snapdragons right here bunch of weeds bunch of weeds Here's more snapdragons, which actually are looking really good. More snapdragons. <laughs> I've got random onions in spots that I just happened to miss them. Actually, I think these here are garlic. And these ones over here are onions. And I just missed those. Other thing that's doing amazing are my herbs. So this is tarragon. I swear I cut this thing all the way to the darn ground and this is probably the most beautiful and majestic I've ever seen this and I cut it down like hard the last time so tarragon <laughs> anybody need tarragon <laughs> I mean this is this is the whole entire bed this is four feet across probably four or five feet tall and another four feet that way so just gigantic coming this way in all the the old foliage from last year we've got more snapdragons not entirely sure what that is might be some type of milkweed maybe not sure also this massive asparagus which is probably seven feet tall way up here just a giant asparagus going to seed. Like look at the look at the stalk on this sucker. Even these ones. This one snapped, it's so heavy. That's a full asparagus right there. Sage is doing great. It's coming back up again. I've already got some flowers. Hello little flowers. So this culinary sage is doing excellent. This is year four for it. There's a four-year perennial right now and it looks healthy and beautiful. I've got more lemon balm. Man, that reseeded amazingly. More lemon balm tucked hidden away in these old peppers. We've got some snapdragons 
trying to flower here. These are a very pretty one. Pink and yellow variety. So we got a little bunch of snapdragon here and here. Pile of weeds. And then my bachelor buttons have reseeded in the walkway again. So I'm probably gonna dig these up, throw them in a pot, and see if anybody would want them because there are re or not reseeded, but the the bachelor buttons have spread all over this garden bed. So I've just got tons of little pockets of them that I kind of weeded around. I'm not sure what these are. I know I planted hollyhocks in this section before, but I don't know what this is. Does anyone know what this is? Is this a hollyhock? Very short one, because I've got this one, and there's another one down here as well. But we've got this mystery plant, and then last year, I, this is the lavender that I started and replanted here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five little lavender plants right here in a little semicircle. They're doing great. And I also saw we've got a bunch of reseeded lettuce in this old lettuce bed where all the kale was. So back at the front of the garden, these lavenders are doing so good. These are the best looking lavender bushes I've seen. <laughs> these two right here are, this is the fourth season, so they're the same age as the sage over there. And they are just, ugh, look at them. I mean, they're thick and beautiful and lush. Uh, they don't look scraggly at all. They just look like a beautiful, beautiful lavender plant. So these two are magnificent. This little guy here I planted out last year. And then these two in the back, they're kind of getting, this one looks dead. But, and then I've got one more that doesn't look as good, but it's still alive. But yeah, these ones are beautiful. Well, we're back at the front of the garden now. And for those of you who stuck around and have seen my other videos, you'll notice that this first bed here, I already took down the fencing and T-posts. So that's what I'm working on going this way. I took down the fencing on these two beds. So now I just have to rip these T-posts out. I already took down some trellises. I have one more fence to unlatch from the T-posts and take this little fence down. Then I've got one, two, three, four trellises to disassemble today. So I'm gonna get started on that.
you who've seen these in your garden before. This is a praying mantis egg sac. Doesn't look like it's hatched yet, but I see these all the time. And fun fact, where I live, praying mantises are not native. I believe they're, I want to say they're Asian. They're Asian or European, I can't remember. Um, I think we have one native mantis that's, I think, I want to say in the southeast of America. But most praying mantises are non-native but they are beneficial. So if you see these, don't be afraid. They will eat uh, pests in the garden. So I'm gonna take this off here and go put it somewhere else so I don't injure these little babies in here.
just wanted to point out that I found two more of these little egg sacs here. The praying mantis really like these tea posts for some reason. This is really like the only spot I've ever found them. look like much but just taking this stuff out of the garden was almost a, a whole day adventure here. I would probably say I've been out here working for maybe five or six hours today just getting all this stuff taken down and tidied up. Wow okay guys well that was a lot more work than I thought it is always. Just to let you know, if you're ever gonna put T-posts in, make sure you got somebody strong that can take them out for you. Cause that was, I mean, that was a lot of work. But anyways, it looks like we've got our storm system coming in back over here. It's getting pretty dark out. We've had really amazing thunderstorms, like every day at about five o'clock uh, for this last week. And it's been just so perfect. For those of you who don't know, I live in Southern Idaho and we don't get like any rain ever. Like, so this week of thunderstorms is, I mean, it just fills my soul with just so much happiness um, because we don't get to experience big rainstorms and thunderstorms that often here. Little fun fact tidbit, where I live, we get about 10 inches of rain a year, which is nothing. It's nothing. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Probably got dirt all over my face. Might've got a little bit sunburned, but I'm definitely like tired if you can see the rosiness in my cheeks. I, I was just looking at the strawberry bed I have behind me and I wanted to show you guys something uh, pretty fun and cool. Or, you know, if you're watching my videos, you'll you'll probably think it's pretty pretty darn cool. So I was looking in here because I saw this little red strawberry that's coming alive, but, ta-da, 
Look at that. Some little critter. I don't know. There. Does that help? I don't know if this is a little bird that has laid this egg or if someone had tried to steal it and eat it and just never got to it. But we've got this cute little egg right here. I'm not sure what kind of bird this goes to. It looks like it's been here for a long time actually. I mean, I don't know. I'll just put that back. But anyways, <laughs> fun. But I was noticing we've got all of these little tiny strawberries coming on, which is very exciting. So at least I'll get a little bit of a strawberry harvest this spring, which is very exciting. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my very frizzy hair and red face. So <laughs> it's real life, it's real gardening life. It, you get hot and sweaty out here. I'm just gonna say that, it's not all beautiful garden tours all the time. So I'm gonna go home and shower and enjoy this thunderstorm from my front porch so i will see you guys very soon on the next video and as always don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to hang out with me in the future a little bit more and if you enjoy this video go ahead and hit that like button i'll see you guys soon bye